praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, we're alive. Come on, it's our 21st pastor anniversary. You want to give God some praise and glory. You want to give him glory for what he's done. Hallelujah. Come on, share, share, share this with somebody you know. Come on, share with somebody you know. Come on, get off your couch wherever you are. I know we maybe some of us may be in the house of God, but we've come to give him praise. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know what's going on right now. But I'm not going to worry because I look to the hills which come with my help. All of my help. All of my help coming from the Lord. Anybody know that your help coming from the Lord? Come on, raise it up. Come on, let's open up your mouth and worship. Oh, I need you, Jesus. Come on, how many need the Lord tonight? Oh, I need you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. Come on. If you need him, cry out. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. With all that's within me, bless his holy name. With all that is in me, bless his holy name. I'll give you the best that I've got right now, Jesus. I'll give you the best that I've got right now, Lord God. Everything, I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul, my soul, my soul, my soul, my soul. My, 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 my soul, my soul. It loves you, Jesus. Yeah, it loves you, Jesus. So I say, so arise from your rest and be blessed by your praise as we glory in your embrace. As your presence, let's go. Now feels this place. Come on, everybody, say. So arise, so arise from your rest and be blessed. As we glory. As we glory. In your. In your embrace. In your embrace. As your presence. Say yes, Lord. As your presence. Now feels. Now feels this Come on, raise it up. So arise. So Come on, say so arise, so arise, and be blessed by our way as we glory in your Presence, Lord, yeah. All I want you to do now feel this place. Now feel this place.
as we glory as we glory as we give you all the praise and the honor Jesus as we glory as we glory we give you all the precious name all the praises all belong to you glory we give it all to you Jesus yes we do as we glory as we enter in your gates with thanksgiving yes we do and as we enter into your courts with praise yeah and we be thankful unto you we be thankful unto you and we're gonna bless your name i'm marveling the fact that you're the king of kings and you're the lord of lords as we glory I will look up to the hills which cometh my help, all of my help. All of my help coming from the Lord as we glory. Yeah. Yeah. I will raise up my praise to the highest level. Yes, I will. I've come to worship you in spirit and in truth as we glory. Yeah. As we glory. In your embrace. There are. there are no words. There's nothing left. Come on, walk across. Say, oh, there are no words. There's nothing left. Come on, lift your hands to the Father. My heart. See, there are no words. There's nothing left. My heart, yes. 
Come on, walk cross. Everybody see you. There are no words. I have nothing left to say, Lord. But I'll show you my heart. See you. your heart do the talking let your worship talk for you you don't even have the words to describe we don't have the words to describe how great you are we don't have words to describe how awesome you are oh 
even if we had 10,000 tongues, it still would not be enough, God. Oh, 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 yeah. So fill me up till I overflow. I run a run over. I run a run over. Come on, say. Fill me up. Come on, till I overflow. I want to run over. Say, hey.
ever join that you give me. However you see me, Father. Blow me over with your presence. Blow me over. I'm running over with your strength. Over and over with your peace. Over and over with your joy.
Ah, oh. Come on, last time. Yeah. Come on, prophesy. Say, fill me up. Fill me up. Till I. I want to run over. Say, I want. Give them praise. Give them praise. If you want the Lord to fill you up, come on and give them praise. If he's been just that good to you, come on, give him praise. If he healed your body and told you to run home, give him praise. If you need a free feeling, he'll give you the deliverance tonight. He'll give the breakthrough tonight. But right now, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Yeah. And let us exalt his name together. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Oh, be grateful unto him. Yeah. And bless his name. When I think about the goodness of Jesus. And all he's done for me. My soul. It loves you, Jesus. And there are praise in the hat. Oh, and I'm on your foot. He didn't build you up. He didn't hurt your back. I wish somebody in here would catch your fire. Yeah. Oh, the Panemio Sakanamaho. Come on and give him glory. Because he's worthy of glory. He's worthy of the honor. And I'm your soul. Come on and give him glory. Woo. Woo. Give him glory. When you realize where your help comes from, you want to praise him. When you realize who you're dealing with, you want to praise him. When you realize you could have been dead and sleeping in your grave, you want to praise him. Everything that has breath, everything that has breath, everything that has breath. Amen, walls. Amen, floor. Everything. Everything you want to praise it. I won't let the rocks cry out for me because I got a mouth to open up for myself. I won't let the birds flap their wings for me because I can cut my hands myself. I won't let nothing. I won't let the trees do nothing. I won't let the walls do nothing. I won't let the sun do nothing. I won't let the moon do nothing. But I will praise the Lord. Yes. Put your hands on it. Woo. Come on, 21 years a long time. And if I were you, I would give God some praise right here. 21 years. Come on, let's give God some praise. Come on. If God's been just that good for you, I need you to give a dance right here.
praise him, praise him, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord.
to the living thing that have breath, praise ye the Lord. Come on, let the drunk praise the Lord. Hey. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. your Bibles really quickly. First Timothy, the fifth chapter, and the 17th verse. And it says, let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. Come on, read that again. It says, let the elders that rule well, come on, be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. Come on, by your heads. Father God, in Jesus' name, God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time. We thank you for this gathering. We thank you, God, that 21 years you allowed our leader to prosper. 21 years, God, you've allowed him to have good success. God, it may not have been easy all the way, but Father, we thank you for the word that you're about to bring forth through your woman servant, Apostle Walls. We thank you, God, for anointing her even the more fresh. God, meet the need of our pastor right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God, tear this church up in and inside out. Tell all those who are watching, oh God, inside, creating them a new heart, creating us a new heart and a clean spirit. And Father, we'll forever give your name the praise. God, thank you for the victory. Thank you because we have it. Thank you because you're setting your word that all of our needs shall be supplied according to your riches and glory. And we'll forever give your name the praise, honor, and glory. Come on and give God some praise. I'm gonna, hey, I'm gonna, come on. I'm gonna, hey, I'm gonna, come on, bring it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, come on, clap your hands. One more time, say. that everybody can participate in. Keep that going. Don't lose that. Keep that going. Keep that going. Yeah, there we go. Come on. 21 years deserves something special behind it. And one of the biggest ways that we can contribute to the lives of our leaders is through our giving. Can we just get an offering basket really quickly? Come on, those of you who are in streaming land, who are at your house. The apps are on the screen. If you have several ways to pay. If you have Cash App, it is dollar sign NV Cathedral. For those of you who have PayPal, the PayPal is on the screen. If you 
you need to mail a check, you can do so. Come on, when you do it, just make sure that the memo is for what? 21st pastoral anniversary. Come on, somebody. We, we have to celebrate and not just give flowers, but give some money, too, to the people that we are being led by in this season. Come on, it's time for us to do as a corporate body. Amen. Come on, give you some time to give. For those of you who are in here, we thank God for you. You can come right on to the front and give what you have. Those of you who are going to use credit card or debit card, we have the machine capable. Come on, let's bless our leader's life. Come on, somebody make some noise. Let's bless our leader's life tonight. Come on, let's bless our leader's life tonight. Come on, give the best seed that you can give. Give the best offering that you can give. I've got it. I've got it. Oh, oh, I've got it. Come on, prophesy you give. Oh, oh. I've got it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've got it. Oh, hey, hey, hey. I've got it. Come on, I've got it. Hey, hey, oh, I've got it. We thank God. For the offering from Holy City to our apostle. Come on, clap your hands. That's our covenant. Come on, clap your hands. Thank you so much for sowing that seed. I've got it. I've got it. We're going to wait till you come. Oh, I've got it. Oh, yeah. Say, I've got it. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, I've got it. Come on, wave your hand if you got it. Hey, yeah, I've got it. Yeah. Oh, oh, I've got it. Yeah, oh, 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 I've got it. We're just waiting to finish up a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. come on, wave your hand. I know some of y'all are ready for the word of God. I'm ready for the word of God. Come on. I've got it. Whoa. I've got it. Yes, I do. Yeah. Oh. We thank you so much for your liberal giving. May God bless you. Father, in Jesus' name, God, thank you for this offering. We thank you for the seeds that have been sown both electronically and over a line. God, we ask you to multiply it hundredfold. Oh God, meet every need in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for those who are able to give, for those who are not able to give. God, you said in your word that you supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory. And Father, we thank you, oh God, for you doing a new thing in our money, in our finances, and in our giving. And thank you, O oh God, for you being consistent and faithful to meet everything that we have in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Come on and clap your hands and give him glory. Come on and clap your hands and give him glory. Hallelujah. We're going to get out the way so that the best part of the service can be had. Come on, somebody. If you're ready for the word of God, come on. Say, I'm ready for the word of God. Come on. This great woman of God is just not any regular woman of God. She's like my aunt. I call her Aunt Liz. But Apostle Elizabeth Walls is a great woman of God who lives and stands by the principles of Christ. Come on. Ain't too many good leaders still standing sometimes. But this one here, she's a great leader. She's remained consistent in who she is, integrity, full of character, and anointed and appointed to preach and teach the word of God. Come on, clap your hands and give God glory 
Come on, point your hand this way and say, Lord, use her in a mighty, mighty way. Come on, like the old school say, Lord, use her in the mighty, mighty way. I present to you and I present to some and I present to all of you, Apostle Elizabeth Walls. Come on and give God some glory. Hallelujah. Come on and bless him. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We serve a great God and I'm grateful this morning. I'm grateful this evening. Hallelujah. We give honor to God, to the absence of my pastor, Pastor Victor Levant, to the late mother Apostle Kelly M. Jasper. Yes. And to the honorary on this evening, none other than Apostle White, my brother. Oh, I bless God. I didn't come here to shout, y'all, but y'all made me shout because I'm grateful. Hey, come on. I'm grateful for what he did. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Could have been me in the pandemic. Oh, I know what I'm talking about. Should have been me. But God said, not so. And here I stand to declare the word. Hallelujah. I promise I'm not going to be long. Hallelujah. But we're going to go directly into the word to 2 Kings. And Apostle White, as I sat there, I had one thing. <laughs> I said, God got jokes tonight. And he changed it, hallelujah, just a little bit. Hallelujah. Beginning at the seventh chapter. Father, in Jesus' name, I bless you. And I praise your holy name. I thank you tonight, God. And Father, anything that would separate daughter from father, I repent now in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for the anointing that makes preaching and teaching easy. Oh, God, be glorified in this place. Speak to your servant. Hey, God. And I promise I won't steal your glory, but I'll give it to you because you and you alone deserve it. Hallelujah. The seventh chapter of 2 Kings. Here we read, begin at the reading of God's word. Then Elijah said, hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel. And two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. Then the Lord of whom hand the king laid answered the man of God saying, Behold, if the Lord would make windows in heaven, might this thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thine eyes, but shall not eat thereof. And there were four leopard men at the entrance in of the gate. And they said one to another, why sit here until we die? If we say we will enter into the city, then the famine in the city, and we shall die there. And if we shall sit still here, we die also. Now, therefore... Come, let us fall into the host of the Syrian. If they save us alive, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall die. And they arose up in twilight to the camp, unto the camp of the Syrian. And when they were come to the uttermost part of the camp of Sarai, behold, there was no man. Six verse. For the Lord had made the hosts of Satyrians to hear a noise of chariots and a noise of hosts, even a noise of great hosts. And they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel have hired against the king of the Hittites and the king of the Egyptians to come upon us. Seventh. 
And when they arose and fleed in twilight, they left their tents and their horses and their ass, even in the camp as it was, and flee for their life. And when, the, and when these leopards came to the uttermost part of the camp, they went in one tent, and they did eat and drink, and carried the silver and gold and remnants. And when they had hidden it, came again and into, into another tent, and carried thus also, and went and hid it, thus far the scripture and if I was to leave you a topic it says I'm making provision go for it hallelujah God said I got this one you just go for it man of God hallelujah I looked at the word provision it's the action of providing or supplying something for you an amount of things supplied or provided now, this part of the scripture talks about when Elijah came and he gave the word of the Lord to the king. And the word of the Lord said, about this time tomorrow, oh, you better go for it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, about this time tomorrow, hallelujah, that there's going to be fine flour and barley sold at the gate. No doubt that it was a costly thing and they had no fine flour or barley to be sold. But that's not where I want to get tonight. Help me, Holy Ghost. I want to talk about those four leopard guys, hallelujah, that sat at the gate. Understand this about them. They were excluded from the people in the gate because of their leprosy. So they were out there by themselves, had nobody to talk to, couldn't commune with their family. But they made a decision. They said, look ahead, if I stay here, I'm going to die. Hallelujah. If I go to the Syrian camp, it's a possibility they going to kill me and I'm going to die. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But we got to do something. You know what they did? They went for it. Help me today. Hallelujah. The Bible declares, hallelujah, if you read on down a little bit, the Bible declares that on that next day, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, it was so at the gate, hallelujah, they had fine flour and they had barley, but those leopard men did something, they decided, I ain't gonna stay in my present state. I'm a move. Hallelujah. I can't stay here much longer. Oh, help me, God. Because if I stay, it's a possibility I'm going to die. So I better move and go for it. What are you telling me, Apostle? Told you I ain't going to be long. But I'm telling you, God said, you better go for it now. I gave you provision. So go for it. Hallelujah. I looked up this other word called manifestation. Because every season is a season. There's a time to cry. There's a time to mow. There's a time to laugh. There's a time to rejoice. There's a time to reap. And there's a time to sow. And the word says, an event or an action or object that clearly shows the embodiment of something, a special, a theory, or abstract of an idea. Hallelujah. Well, upon so it's your manifestation time. God said, I got the provision for you, so go for it now. Hallelujah. The Bible declare that these four men, they proceeded and they went for it. But look what God did supernaturally. Hallelujah. Supernaturally, he made a noise. And the noise made them think that the Hittite and the Egyptian had come upon him. What are you telling me? 
the apostle, when God does it, it's well. God's getting ready. Oh, I feel like preaching. And then I feel like prophesying. Woo, Jesus. Hallelujah. God does things. And it does things well. The Bible says he made a noise. Slow down, man. Slow down. Hallelujah. He made a noise. And the satirians who were enemies decided that someone was coming to get them. And just not one. He said, look, the noise was so great that God did supernaturally that they said the Hittites are coming. The Egyptians are coming. And they're coming to get us. Hallelujah. So we better get out of here. Hey, yeah, God, I love you. Well, I came to tell you, Apostle White and New Vision, God is getting ready to change some stuff. I'm on God. Hey, God. And he's going to do it supernaturally. Hallelujah. Hear me today. It ain't what it look like. And it ain't what you think. But God is moving. Hey, hey, God. Hallelujah. Hey, God. He's the provider. He's Jehovah Jireh. He's your provider. He made the move out of the way so the four leopards could go into the camp. Look what they did. The Bible declares they got into the camp. They took the spoils and look at this because of what they look like because of their present situation they have to take the stuff and hide it they had to hide it for a minute hallelujah and then they took something else they hid it but the bible declares that they ate and they drank and then they reasoned again and they reasoned with themselves and they said look at here we better do something cause if the king find out some mischief is gonna come to us hallelujah so the bible says they went and they called the king's man and they let them know what was going on and the king sent somebody and he got there and he saw that there was stuff that he could use to sell the stuff well apostle i came to tell you it's some stuff in your provision Woo, jesus it's some stuff god want to give you it's some stuff god got for you Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Bible says they tarried only a little while. Well, no vision, your tarrying is over. Woo, Jesus, hallelujah. You got to get up now and go for it. Do something, change your way. The end of the story was that they were able to sell on the next day. 24 hours. Oh, God. What are you saying, Apostle? Hey, God, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Apostle. God sent this Apostle, and I came to deliver the word. In 24 hours, God getting ready to change some stuff. Hey, 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 God. Hey, 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 God. I don't care what it look like. I don't care what you've been through. God is getting ready to change some stuff for you. Hallelujah. Apostle, I came to encourage. 
encourage you the word of the Lord for you today is God keeps his promise his promises are yea and they amen he's not changing the latter shall be greater than your former oh hear me man the I came for you hallelujah but if you can get a little bit you better grab on to it thank God I came to tell you he's gonna reward you for the seeds you sowed and you sold them secretly hallelujah I hear God you sold them when you didn't have you sold them when it was crunch time you sold them and you didn't complain when I hear God he's going to give you back what the canker worm and the palmer worm has eaten he's going to fortify you he's imparting into you great strength endurance wisdom for this next move come on man of God come on man of God come on come on now it's your time it's your time 21 years it's your time now hallelujah i hear god you ain't gonna fuss like you used to sorry y'all i know they weren't gonna clap on that hallelujah but god is getting ready to release some stuff oh god it's here it's here now God said you can move forward I'm glad we didn't talk God said that you can move forward he said my revision will also bring release and miracles thank you he said man of God I watch over my word to perform it thank you sir and I watch over you to perform what I need. You trust me all of these years. So look what I'm going to do now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. God is getting ready for a great release. And I was driving in the car, and he said, tell my son, Scott, that I'm going to prepare the greatness that I've put inside. And he said to tell New Vision, we serve together. 21 years, apostle should not have to fuss, fight. He should make a commandment, tell you what to do, and you do it. After 21 years, the Bible said, know them that labor among you. You know him. You know his integrity. I've known him Maybe almost 21 years. Yes, or longer. Because I knew him when he was at Bishop Daisy Garvin's church. And he wasn't pastoring then. He was serving. Am I, am I correct, Junior? He was serving then. And I've never, hear me, y'all heard a scandal. His
his integrity stands for him. So you wonder why God would say, you can go for it now. Ask me anything. Ask me whatever you want. In my will, I will perform it. Saith your God. I even touch your very body. And I strengthen thee. For I strengthen you for the next move, saith God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray that he gives you high speed. Mm, God, I love you. That you will lean over things that affected you years ago would not affect you years to come. Because you can go for it now. I hear God say, even when I give, there's a turning. And I keep hearing this word. I hear it for the body of Christ. That when I turn, I return. So in your turning, I give back to you. Only God could do that. In, in my turning and fixing and making and molding, there's a return I give to you. Hallelujah. God said, don't even think just ask and I'll do it I don't know what's going on in your body I keep hearing it <laughs> but he said I give you endurance and strength <laughs> I give you endurance and strength and of God it's a certain time of morning I want to say that you pray it's morning not night not evening, it's morning that you pray. God said, meet me. I got something I want to tell you. Thank you, Father. It's some, some instructions I want to give you, but you got to meet me. Yes, sir. God, I thank you. I won't preach but he won't let me. So I got to walk where he got me walking. Mm. The return is going to be greater than what you think. Yes. And you know, this is nice. Yeah. <laughs> this is nice. It, it's really nice. But it's not big enough. Not big enough, Apostle. Because I'm sending them in. Let me tell y'all something. I'm seeing God make this pandemic make people that I thought wouldn't love God, love God. In my own family. I'm seeing people get excited about God now. God going to send them in. We were coming in the car and we were reminiscing. I was sitting in the back and they said, you remember the last time we were here? I said, you know, I was quiet. They were saying, I was like, yeah, it was on a Sunday afternoon and Mother Apostle preached. And I want to, she said, you were valued. New vision, don't let anyone ever devalue your leader. Or your church, hear me, hear me. 
Because people talk, y'all. <laughs> don't, don't let that happen. Because you know who labors among you. But I hear God so clear. I'm getting ready to bust loose. Go for it, man of God. Go for it. Every dream you dream, put it into action. Every vision you have, put it into action. It's time now. Ooh. Apostle, write the book and stop playing. Help me, God. We ain't talked in two weeks, and I said some little smart stuff to him when I came in. But I'm glad I did. He said, write that book. Apostle, write the book and stop. Because there's people that needs the information. And the only way they're going to get it is you write the book. Write the book, man. And you know I'm talking right. Write the book. Write the book. Let the people hear. Write your memoirs. Thank you, Holy Ghost, first. Write how and what it takes and then write the other ones that's inside but write the book man of God oh y'all bless the Lord come on and bless him come on and bless him you can do better than that thank you Lord Thank you, Lord. There's a turning coming. There's a turning coming. And it's not only coming to New Vision. It's coming to the body of Christ. But I declare, if you stay on this foundation that is being built up in you, you'll be able to make it. You won't second think it. You'll be able to go through. Listen, I didn't think I would be able to go through. Let me, let, can I be transparent tonight? Y'all can take your Facebook. Wait, can I be really transparent? I didn't think I could make it. March, I lost my leader. May, I lost my mother. I didn't think I was going to make it. And I never wanted to preach again. I said I want to be transparent. Because all I could say was, God, it hurt that bad. And a woman of